You're not gonna believe what could have happened today. We could have died on the road. Well, I was putting all the air in the tires because we're getting ready to go tomorrow and everything. And you always check the tires for stuff like this. Let me show you what happened here. It's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's, it's something that I noticed. Okay, let's see if I can get it closer. Can you hear this? It sounds like I got a leak in, in the tire, but that's not what it is. What it is is this valve stem is loose. See right here? right here it just needs to be tightened back up the crazy thing is we're here at uh, Clifton Arizona and I have to go up to AutoZone or Napa I don't think they have an AutoZone a small town they have a Napa they said so I'm gonna go up there and the crazy thing is is I have one in the toolbox the bigger toolbox in the storage shed that we have where we're going back to but I'm gonna buy another one and I'll keep it in the RV for now on this has never happened in my entire life the stem has come loose but it happened. I'm glad it happened. Me checking, then going down the road. So now we're leaving uh, this uh, RV park to go to the Napa Auto Parts store that's here, if they're still open. And if not, uh, I'll find another place. Uh, but it's a really small town. Uh, this this is a copper mining town, and I'll say the mine is bigger than the town. You can probably take the mine and put a thousand of these towns in it and that's how big the mining area is, if not bigger. Uh, you can probably put the city of Arlington, Texas into the mining area and it might fit. It's that huge. Uh, and I'll show you that uh, on another video. Just, just going through the mining area. It's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. Uh, everything that's involved. So uh, let's get Napa and uh, get that part and I'll show you what it is. If you don't know, I'll show you what it is. So uh, I'll see you when I get the part. 15 minutes later. Well, I'm coming back from Napa Auto Parts and the young guy in there, probably about 20, had no idea what I was talking to him about. He's never seen one. And I said, I, you gotta have them. So I asked him, where's your tire repair stuff and your uh, metal valve stems and all that kind of stuff. So he showed me, so he walked over there with me because I think he was curious. So I, we looked and wasn't there and we looked a little bit farther down and I go, aha, there it is right there. And he looked at it and he goes, is that what that's for? And I go, yeah. And then I showed him this, a $5, little item and this little piece let me stop here because i'm almost to the rv park this little piece right here this one right here this that's will tighten up the inside of the stem and that's what i need that it's loosened up so i just had somebody go by me they're probably cussing me whatever uh but anyways that's what it is and i'll put that in the toolbox in the rv and i'll show you how it works it's super easy uh anybody can do it so that's one of the things about checking your RV before you get on the road. And the thing is, I didn't notice it before because I had my TPMS sensors on and they were down on that and they were pushing the stem down, but they weren't losing no air. And if they were, it was so minute because I didn't notice it driving. No alarms happened or anything like that. So when I filled them all up, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the noise. I was making noise. I didn't hear it, but I went over there to put the... Uh, TPMS sensors back on I heard a hissing sound and I thought it was the tire uh, at first I was like oh man I got a nail or something but no it was that and uh, like I said I've, I've been alive 53 years and I have never had a stem on the inside come loose it's always been the stem got you know a little wear and tear from movement or whatever uh, and that had to the whole stem had to be replaced this is just the inside and I think when I get back to Dallas Nacogdoches wherever we're at 
uh, I'm going to, I gotta get new tires, I'll show you why. Uh, they're not bad, they're just starting to get a little low, and I'll show you when I get back to the RV and everything. All right, we're back at the RV. I'm gonna show you what I was talking to you about on the tires, it's nothing bad. There's no damage or anything like that. It's just that I want to show you what it is, okay? So, uh, I don't even hear the hissing anymore. But uh, we're still going to tighten it up. Uh, so, here you go. All right. Here's the tires. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just, you see this little stuff, Robert, this little stuff right here in between the uh, treads right here? That's a safety thing. I have just... A little bit more tread left so I'm probably gonna need tires in the next year there's no cracking or damage to the tires it's just that's what it is so let me open this package and tighten up this stem 12 seconds later that was crazy that was over a full turn on the stem so I'm gonna make sure all of them are tight so I'm gonna go around and do that then uh, we'll finish this up yes it's the via air and what's cool about this, it plugs right into the battery of the Jeep. That's the power. Clean engine, isn't it? Yeah, the Via Air is really cool. It has up to 100 feet of hose line uh, and some attachments for doing the tires and stuff like that. But I replaced it with uh, something else. It cost me about 60 bucks, but I'll show you that. But this thing is awesome. And it does up to 125 PSI because it's the Avaya Air RV. Uh, it's about $250, $300, uh, but it's worth it. This is a great tool. Turn it on. I've lost that leak. 15 pounds. Imagine going down the road. So now I'm just gonna fill it up and put everything back together. So let's go ahead and waste about five minutes filling this thing up. Five minutes later. All right, there's something about this thing. Uh, it's a great tool, but it's three pounds off of what I use a regular um, pressure gauge uh, that I, I stick in there instead of this digital but this one's actually three pounds off uh, so I'm going to show you I'm at I'm going to put it to uh, 110 and then I'm going to undo it and I'm going to put the, the manual one on there and I'll show you the difference see we're at 109.7 let me fill that up a little bit we're at 110 O2, but that's not the pressure. It's really about 107 in the tires, and the tires are rated for 110. So let me uh, disconnect this and uh, get the manual one out and check it. Maybe we'll zoom in. But that top number is 100, and it's about 107. That, mid, that bigger line in between the 100 is 105. It's about 107. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to 112.9. And when I put my uh, TPMS uh, sensors back on, it will take a couple. It won't even be a pound. It takes off. Just take a couple ounces of a pound. And uh, I'll be right at 110 because you don't want to have 107 one tire and 110 on the other because it it does bad wear on the tire. So let me finish filling that up. All right, it's at 113.2. I really want it at 112.9. Now the neat thing about this, you barely touch this, it will actually let the air out. You ain't got to disconnect it. See? And I'll read it again. If it goes back, so I took too much out, so I just. There it is, 112.9. Well, tires are all aired up, TPMS sensors are on, everything's reading like it's supposed to, and now we're just gonna get ready to go on the trip tomorrow. So I'm glad I caught it. It was 
always check your tires before you go on a trip. Uh, just, you never know what you're going to find. And uh, it could have been really bad. If that thing would have blew going down the road, 65, 70 miles an hour, who knows, with a tow, who knows what could have happened. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll talk to you later.